All right, so I'm gonna walk you through IPv6 subnetting. Uh, but first, before we get started, I wanna show you the parts of an IPv6 address. Now remember, it's 128 bits total, but it's broken up into three sections. Uh, the first 48 bits is the global routing prefix. The next 16 bits is your subnet ID, and the last 64 bits is your interface identifier. Um, so let's look at an example of an IPv6 address. 2001-2A1-CAD-0-64. So I wrote it out this way so that you would see that these first 48 bits, remember it's written in hexadecimal, so each digit represents four bits or a nibble. So that's 4, 8, 12, 16. 16 bits in each part. So 16 plus 16 is 32, plus 16 is 48. So this is your 48-bit prefix. And then I wrote this out into all zeros so you could just see how the subnet portion is represented. Um, so this whole portion together is slash 64. So let's break up this subnet portion and look at it in binary rather than in hexadecimal. So in binary, each one of these digits represents four bits. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's each digit. Um, okay, so how do we subnet IPv6? Um, you just basically start counting in this last nibble uh, and work your way up. All right, so let's do that. Turn that one on. four and just keep going all right so that would be represented in the last octet by zero 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 one zero 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 oopsie sorry zero 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 one zero 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 two zero 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 three 0, 0, 0, 4, and so forth. It would actually be written, since you get rid of your leading zeros, as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's what would be represented here in this subnetwork sub portion. Um, you would count all the way up to F for that last number right there, F. Uh, and then as you keep going, as that becomes F, then you would start in this third section until that becomes F, then you would start here, F. Once you're completely um, filled up, it would be F, 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 F. All right, so let's look at a problem. All right, so here's the problem. Your ISP has given you the IPv6 address, uh, 2000 with a subnet mask of 56, slash 56. All right, so what's that, what that is telling us is, all right, we have our 48 bits here, but let's look at this in binary. 66 in binary would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's our subnet ID in binary. So we have 48 bits. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. That gives us our slash 56. So we still have these eight bits to look at um, in order to subnet. So there's still eight bits available. 
So our first question is, how many subnet bits are available? Well, there's eight that haven't been used. So two to the eight is 256. So there's 256 different subnetworks we can create out of this. All right, so what are our first six? Well, actually, let's do first four, so I don't have to write so many. So our first four subnets would be 6, 6. I'm just going to write that out since we've already seen it in binary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see, one more. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so our first four subnetworks would be 6, 6, 0, 0, 6, 6, 0, 1, 6, 6, uh, 0, 2, sorry, and 6, 6, 0, 3. Those would all be a slash 64 now. Let's look at our last. Let's skip all the way down to our last two subnets. Remember, the very highest value in hexadecimal is F. So that would be 66. Six. Let's turn these all on. And these, we'll just leave the last one off. And 66, six, eight. Okay, so that would actually equal 66FE. Six, six, and then 66F six, F slash 64 for both of those. Those would be your last subnets available. So as you can see, whenever you're subnetting with IPv6, you basically just have to look at your subnetwork portion in binary and you work your way all the way from right to left as you turn on your bits. So in the last digit, you're gonna look at those last four bits and just start counting. Remember, you're always working with nibbles because it's a hexadecimal value. So it's one, two, four, eight, one, two, four, eight, one, two, four, eight, one, two, four, eight for that entire portion of your subnet. Whenever you have a value that's not 48, then you know that you've already used some of your subnetwork bits. So you don't have the full um, 16 to look at. So always look at it in binary. You can see that we have a slash 56, so there's only actually eight bits left to subnet or 256 possible subnetworks. So whenever you look at it that way, you have your 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F is the value in this last digit. Then the same thing for that next digit. All right, so um, there's subnetting in IPv6.